Mr. Wrong by Rosa Harris. Whatever, Mr. Wrong, this was totally, three, totally, completely, utterly wrong. However hard he tried, he just couldn't do anything right. Just look at his house. One fine morning, Mr. Wrong woke up. He hadn't slept very well because of the way he made his bed the day before. He jumped out of bed, fell over twice, put up, put on his shoes on the wrong feet, and then went to the bathroom. Tripping over the bath mat, squeezed out some toothpaste on the wrong side of his toothbrush, cleaned his teeth out, and went downstairs. Bum 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 bum. Not a very good start to the day. In fact, it's use your wrong start to the day. In his kitchen, Mr. Wrong poured some milk onto his cornflakes and missed. As he sat in his kitchen in the fine morning eating his dry cornflakes, he sighed. Oh dear, he thought. I do wish so. I don't. Do so wish that everything I do wasn't quite so absolutely totally completely after long. So after breakfast, he went for a walk in order to think how he could sort his problem. It took him ten minutes to get out of the house because he kept trying to open the open his door outwards instead of inwards. As as he walked along, he passed a worm. Good morning, dog. He said. The worm grinned. He was used to Mister Wong. He met the postman. Good morning, Mister Wong. Said called the postman cheerfully. Good morning, doctor. Replied Mister Wong. Oh dear. He met old Missus Twinkle. He arrived down the lane. Good morning, Mister Wong. She smiled. Good morning, Mister Twinkle. With Prime Minister Wong, oh dear! And then he met somebody he never met before. Somebody who sort of looked like him, but didn't. Good morning, sir," said that somebody. "Good afternoon, madam," my Prime Minister Wong. "I'm Mister Wong." I guess that replied the person. "Where、well, I'm, I'm Mister Wright." Now tell me," he went on. "Why are you walking along, looking so miserable?" "Because," replied Mister Wong, "I can't do anything right." "Well," in which case," said Mister Wright, "we better do something about it. Follow me, and help," he said. Off and off then, Mister Wong, in the opposite direction. Mister Wright hurried back. And turn him around this way," he said. And they walked together where Mister Wright was. It was the house which somehow looked something like Mister Wong's house, but different. Mister Wright took Mister Wong into his living room. I think he said, he said that the only way you are ever going to change is for you to come and live me with me for a while, and you may end up being not so absolutely, totally, completely, utterly wrong about everything. Sit down, he said, and we'll talk about it. Mr. Wong sat down and missed. Mr. Wong stayed in Mr. Wright for a month, and during that time he changed. At the wrong week, he was silently less wrong than he ever been before. After two weeks. He was even more 
felt really less wrong than he had been before. And after a four, four, four weeks, he was the changed Mister Man. You can hardly tell the difference between him and Mister Wright. Don't you agree? Mister Wright was delighted. Told you, he cried. Told you that everything was about you, might and being nice. Not so absolutely, totally, completely, utterly wrong. In fact, he continued, "We, you really turned out all right, Mister Wrong Boy. It was the quite the nicest thing, nicest thing anyone has ever said to him in his whole life." And he went home and lived happily and right after ever after. Now you probably think that's the end of the story, don't you? Well, it didn't, and the reason is because because what happened to Mister Wright. The trouble was, you see, that the longer Mister Wrongs has stayed with Mister Wright, and more right Mister Wrong became, and the more wrong Mister Wright had become. Isn't that extraordinary? Or、oh、there, Mister Wright said, "I plan didn't quite work out the way I planned it at all, and went to bed in the bath." The end.